because not a lot of people can take criticism and accountability very well. Uh, go ahead, story. Uh, oh, uh, somebody has something to say? Nah, it's, I'll, I'll follow up. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew Jay was coming. I knew it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, story. <laughs> well, my, my pro is definitely transparency. Uh, it's one of the things that I've learned to be when it came down to being married because my husband has been together 16 years. And one of the biggest things I had to understand is that one, I'm not his mama. Um, I'm his wife. And that's something that a lot of us as women, we tend to forget. You know, a lot of us, we come in thinking, well, I, he's going to change. Look here. That, that is, again, transparency is really big for me. If you cannot be honest, you cannot be open. And that's one of the things that we've had to work on in our own marriage is being transparent with each other about feelings because there's been parts where our past and the way we've grown up and things that have happened has come up and it's affected us even as adults that we had to work on. So my thing is like, you just, if you can't be transparent, you can't be honest, we can't chit chat. That's that ain't even just been in a relationship romantically. That's friendship and business. That's the whole four nine. So my con, one of my biggest con is hate people in my business. I say that because we allow too many people in the business and you start listening and then you be like, well, I want my relationship to be like what I saw on TV. That's what we not finna do. You, here's the thing. We, we have these celebrities out there. People talking about, you know, relationship go. Everybody in a relationship go. This, this ain't working. Your relationship is not going to be like someone else. Stop comparing. I hate comparing. I, I will not compare my marriage to anyone else because we are a work in progress. When people say, oh, I want to be like you guys, you want to be better because I wouldn't dare put anyone in our shoes because every marriage is different. So when I hear people comparing and putting people in their business, as far as, don't get me wrong, you, you need to have that person to reach out to and talk to. Accountability, hands down, not knocking that. But when you're steady talking to individuals who is not mature enough emotionally to give you any advice on a relationship, then you may want to reaccount who you got in your circle. Uh, I don't care if it's your sister, your best friends. Sometimes they're not legit to be able to give you that information because they can be salty. So you got to be mindful of who you got and who's speaking into your relationship because, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, man, y'all hate, y'all despise your girl single friends that always... Oh, got yeah. You. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what she's talking about. We and always made a joke it. where single single women influence married women, and they see uh, the married woman to bring those thoughts into your marriage, and then. But you know what? It also takes a strong spouse. I'm gonna tell you, I have single friends. Mm-hmm. Um, I respect my single friends' opinions too because here's the thing: we know each other. So again, like you guys said, how the communication needs to be with your spouse. It got to be the same way. You got to know that love language of your friendship. So my crew is the way it is because I know that love language. I know who's for me. So I got those single friends that will call me, but like, girl, I need to talk to you. How, how would you do A, B, C, and D? And vice versa, girl, how would you, how do you deal with such, such, such? Cause you know, men, all of you not the same, but then some days all y'all are the same. So, you know, we kind of got that. <laughs> Thank you, Shatoria. Thank you for that. Uh... <laughs> no, I love y'all. But no, my, my biggest con is just absolutely having that estroness in your space, giving you, I don't want to say unwanted, unneeded, but things that can damage you. And if you're not strong enough, this is male or female, you're not strong enough, you're going to take that into your relationship anyway. And you're going to cause problems where there was no problems already. It, it, that's where you got to be transparent with yourself. Of, am I ready for a relationship? You know what I'm saying? Am I over that, that heartbreak of someone cheating on me to where I'm not having insecurities over here? And then I'm asking these questions. So that's my pros and cons. Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> I, uh, thank you, Shatoria, for uh, describing all men. Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, because I, I, I will say this. I will say this. Um, from my experience, you know, and, and Shatoria, and I don't know anyone else can relate, but as a man, you know, I go to sleep one way and I wake up a different way. You know, that's something that uh, it takes. I will say it takes a strong woman to uh, to to understand that, Um, because there are days where a lot is on my mind 
And, you know, I feel so frustrated about not doing this or accomplishing this. And sometimes you just need that, that breathing time. And who was the first people we see when we want that breathing time? Our spouses, our partners. And sometimes a lot of, a lot of things come out uh, in a way that we didn't mean it, but could hurt someone else's, can hurt your partner's feelings. Uh, so, yeah. but Jay, you had a last, you had a last um, comment. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, what's it called? I think Shatoria said it best. Like I am, uh, I'm also somebody who, uh, and this is sometimes, sometimes to my detriment, I don't like a whole lot of people in my space or in my circle. Like, yeah. like it's just a thing, but I think everybody has said that when you're in a relationship, you wake up and that person is there and they are fully interested and invested in you, whether you want them to be or not. And there are times when you're just like, yo, can, can I just sit here and you, you not ask me how I'm feeling or how I'm doing, or, you know, I, I just want to watch Netflix and, and, and be good. But yeah, when you do have that other person, it's now nah, you now have to put that extra effort into letting them know where your head's at and all of that sort of stuff. And like you said, sometimes it's not even from the previous night to morning. Sometimes it's from minute to minute where it's just like <laughs> somebody will say something to you and it'll 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 catch you in a in a wrong mood and 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 all of a sudden, you know, you were you were up and now, you know, the, the next person who talks to you or who calls to check on you, it's like, and it's your spouse. It's like back up and they yeah. catch it just because they care. And, yeah. you know, I think, um, I think a con for me that I don't think a lot of people or maybe people don't necessarily care is, um, and I'm not sure how to articulate this fully, but one of the cons that I could see about being in a committed relationship is putting, taking on the other person's stuff. Mm. Yeah. We, I assume everybody on this call is interested in having happy and healthy relationships. And so we try and do our best to uplift the person we're with, to support the person we're with and all that sort of stuff. But I know for me, I struggle with sometimes like, yo, this isn't mine to deal with. Like you gotta, you gotta handle this on your own. And as a man, you know, I'm like, all the fellas on this call, we like fixing stuff. That's what it is. So I, I, I definitely, th that is an area where it's like, hey, you can chime in on this, short, Shatoria. How do you, how do you tell a, a person? Well, hey, even Jamie, uh, somebody can definitely chime in. How do you tell a woman you need to fix the issues? I can't do anything about it. Or how can a woman tell I you? Mean, how do you tell your partner, period? Yeah. Because like yeah, how do you, you, how do you do that? communication what? knowing they love language that that's knowing the love language and knowing where they're yeah. at mentally because i can have no you wrong me my husband's hit a rough spot and now where we're at if i feel offended about something even if he didn't mean it off of his terms if i feel offended i'll take myself i'll cool down and be like okay pray about it and i'm like hey babe can i talk to you for a second like i was offended by what you said well but i didn't mean that that's cool. I just want you to know this is how I feel. And then we go back to normal. Now, a couple of years ago, this was a straight, it was arguments. It was, you know, blown because <laughs> we didn't know how to communicate. But you have to know where your partner is at mentally. Like, and if you're, if, if they're still in the same place, let's say two years later, you know, that's some questionable stuff right there. If there's no growth mentally, then it, it's time to cut some things off because Women, we are emotional. I will say that. We we definitely are. However, though, if I got somebody I can communicate with and my feelings doesn't get attacked with, oh, my God, why do you feel that way? You know, there's an understanding. Then there's a communication. But, again, if they ain't grown mentally, I ain't. You might well just, yeah, you just, 
Mount yeah. just let the side for a second. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I think that's that's a tough road. 